Hey everybody, Antoine here again. I hope you all had a blessed, safe, and happy 4th of July. I just wanted to start off by giving a little mid-year reflection. And the start of this year brought uh, some trials and tribulations for me. Uh, I had been going through some adversity uh, the first couple months of this year, but and God is so good and his strength is just insurmountable and um, he was really able to get me through all of that. It was a bit of a struggle, but man, God's strength is amazing. It really is. And um, I'm just grateful just for all the things that I have, just all the things that I have now. I'm not stressing and getting frustrated over what I don't have or what God is working on. I'm just grateful for what I have now, just grateful to be alive. You know, being able to to, to, to to get through to get through COVID healthily and safely. I'm just so grateful for that. I'm just so blessed also to be showing so much growth and maturity in my prayer ministry role at church, as well as my leadership role. And I'm just really looking forward to what God is gonna do with me from the inside out. And um I'm looking forward to what the rest of this year brings, for sure, for sure. So next I wanted to talk a bit about the sermon that my good friend, mentor, and brother Shane Huey was preaching about this past Sunday. So he explained that the aspect of grace, grace is like a music note. We know it when we either hear it or feel it. God's grace is just so awesome. He has just shown that to me in in, in various uh, periods throughout my life. You know, just God's grace is just so calm and soothing and, and loving and peaceful. And it's, it's really awesome just to be able to just feel it, just overflow you. Just, just feel it and just be peaceful about it. It's just awesome. Shane also explained that a lot of churchgoers are in the mode of before the physical gym transformation and not after the physical gym transformation. And I, I really like that bit that he was talking about. That really hit home for me as well. You know, we just have a lot of churchgoers who will come into church broken, shameful, confused, in need of direction and things like that. And I'm just, I'm just so glad that I'm in a position where I can pray for other church members and 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 and, and bring God's presence into the, into their hearts, um, and it's just a really great feeling. It's just a really great feeling to be in that position. I love how also he talked about there is absolutely nothing, nothing too shameful, too sinful, for 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 God to forgive. God's grace, God's view on forgiveness is just absolutely amazing. I have struggled with 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 so many sinful habits in my past, addictive habits in my past, you know, ungodly habits, um, you know, things that were rather unpleasant in God's eyes and by coming into a relationship with him, it's it was just an amazing feeling to learn that 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 all sins are forgiven and that his grace is sufficient. God loves you. He loves you so, so, so much. And you don't have to hide anything from him. You don't have to keep anything a secret. God sees everything. He knows everything. He knows what you're doing. He knows what's in your heart. Whatever you feel guilty or shameful about, just give it to God. Just give it to God. He loves you. He forgives you. And his grace just let his grace just 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 come over you and just overflow you and just take full control. God is an awesome God. He really is. And I'm just uh really looking forward to one church to what one church is is gonna do in the in the second half of this year. Um I'm looking forward to uh getting baptized again. Uh I think the uh the the Allen Creek Lake baptism is gonna be absolutely awesome. Uh, I have a beautiful baby sister who wants to get baptized uh, for the first time. And uh, I'm looking forward to 
a lot of you getting to meet her for the first time. I know a lot of you have met my mom, seen her around, and uh, man, God is just so awesome, and I'm just looking forward to what he's going to do in my life, and uh, what he's going to do in the church. I know he's going to do some powerful things, and uh, I just encourage you guys to just continue to keep God first, and uh, uh, stay encouraged. Whatever you're going through, trials, tribulations, God's got you. Just lean on him and put you put him first. Just put him first. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later.